How much air is too much air in an IV line to infuse into a patient? Let's talk about it. If you look on the internet, you're gonna see a range of advice and data on all of this stuff. But essentially, whenever there's air in an IV line and it's given to the patient, the major risk of this is an air embolism. This is an air embolism, big air bubble trapped in a vessel that causes a blockage. Okay, but like how much air is too much air? Good rule of thumb that I was taught is literally rule of thumb <laughs> is if the size of the air bubble is bigger than your thumb, then it's probably best to remove it. Something like this is probably, probably okay, but probably best to remove it. Tiny bubbles like these are okay and shouldn't cause any issues. I saw this article and it says a patient may tolerate up to one cc per kilogram of weight of air. Okay. So like I am just guessing I'm probably around 60 kilos plus or minus some. I didn't do any math. Um, so 60 cc's of air is a lot of air. So can most patients, adult patients, tolerate probably more than just a thumb size of air? Probably, but just just be on the safe side and remove it. I personally have never taken care of a patient that got an air embolism from an IV infusion. So my little thumb trick seems to be working just fine. Let me know if you have any more questions.